Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Seamaster Qatar 2016 ITTF World Tour Grand Finals. Coming to you live from Doha, Qatar. I'm your commentator, Adam Bavro, and we're getting into an exciting match between Koki Niwa and Fang Zhendong. Koki Niwa, world rank number 17, the 15th seed in this tournament, is only 22 years old. It feels like he's been around for a while as he emerged on the scene quite young. He's been relatively experienced. He's in his sixth appearance at the World Tour Grand Finals, part of the 2016 Olympic silver medal team from Japan. He's the 2011 junior world champion and also the Youth Olympic Games champion in 2010, taking the gold medal at the Youth Olympic Games. Fang Zhendong on the other side, right there, world number two. Second seed, and it's only a question of time before he's world number one. Sitting with Jin Zhijian, personal coach for Ma Long. Over in the corner for the men this time around. Only two Chinese coaches here, one for the men and one for the women. Fang Zhendong at 19 years old is playing in his third World Tour Grand Finals and has a very, I would say, almost morbid memory of last year. Was down 6-10 in game seven against Ma Long in the final. Wins three points in a row playing out of his mind. And at 10-9, Ma Long softens up on the backhand before taking a big counter shot to win 11-9 in game seven. At that point in his career, Fang Zhendong had never beaten Ma Long on the world stage, only in the Chinese Super League, where he was 3-0 last season against Ma Long. He's continued his streak this season, beating Ma Long 7, well, I guess by two points in the deciding game in the Chinese Super League. Out here so far, undefeated, of course, as it is a single elimination tournament. Only 16 players qualified, 15 from their world tour standings, and one from the home crowd of Qatar. Yesterday, that was Li Ping, who put up an incredible match against Ma Long, taking the point of the day, which you can find on the official ITTF YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Fang Zhendong, the winner of the 2016 Men's World Cup, team champion of the World Team Champs this year. 2016 took the Japan Open and the China Open, two Super Series titles. So it really is a question of time. We've seen that he's got the power, Zhang Zikou on the backhand, the power of Ma Long on the forehand. Touch to win him the ITTF star point last night against Simone Gozi, which was interesting because it was a one of a kind shot and a one of a kind point, the shortest point out of all the nominees, but still such a thrilling shot that even the replay in the stadium had people applauding and cheering. Not too often that you see that. So Koki Niwa, very confident. A lot of people watch him play, think he's not trying. He seems so laid back. And in his small stature, I will say that he's very muscular, very quick, very confident with his shots. Even from off the table, while of course he's gonna be more effective near the table, still manages to keep the ball deep in the fishing game. And it almost feels less like fishing and more like he's punching it back when he gets off the table still goes for big counter shots. Very unpredictable style. Tough to tell where the ball is gonna go, what's happening. But this comes with confidence and creativity. You could even tell by Koki Niwa's music choice. Last year at the World Cup came into a love song from a J-pop band. A girl group singing some love tunes to get him in the mood before the match. Others coming into rock music, whatever gives them adrenaline and pumps them up. So a low center of gravity, some quick decisions to be made. We'll see how he battles here against Fang Zhendong, who's played him four times in the past. And all four of those matches have gone the way of Fang Zhendong. Fang Zhendong has a very affectionate nickname, Xiao Pang, meaning little fatty in Chinese. Speaking of Chinese, there's coach Chu Jianxin, who will be taking care of Koki Niwa this best of seven match. Well played, the pace out wide to the forehand. So while Koki Niwa is quick, has a low center of gravity, he also doesn't have the wingspan to cover some of these wide shots. Service variation, a little bit less spin on his underspin pendulum serve. Matter of fact, one of my favorite Koki Niwa shots. 
It's a brilliant around the net ball. Playing against Fang Zhendong. Actually, he had a block shot. Did a chop block out wide, but Fang Zhendong hit around the net. I believe that was in Suzhou, 2015. Fang Zhendong with a very complete game, explosive on both sides. He's got touch. He's not afraid to hit the ball from wide on either side. So I'd say his agility is catching up to Ma Wong's. But his fearlessness, I'd say tops Ma Long's. Ma Long has got more experience on the world tour, a bit more creativity to adjust. These are the two expected finalists, Fang Zhendong and Ma Long. So one thing it might take for Koki Niwa is change of pace. We saw it yesterday with Li Ping against Ma Long. Someone comes into a battle knowing they're playing one of the best in the world. Odds are not on their side of the table. Have to change it up, play clever. Basically surprise the opponent, break their rhythm. You can see that even if that ball comes down, Koki Niwa's right there waiting to block it back down the line. play parallel, surprising Fang Zhendong. At this level, keeping the racket head up, very important. You can see Fang Zhendong was coming back to middle, getting prepared for a forehand. Three straight points for Koki Niwa, was down 1-5. Game one is gonna be very important to set the tone. Again, getting Fang Zhendong nervous is gonna give Koki Niwa his best chance. Confidence is quite valuable, whether you're world number one, two, world number 17, like Koki Niwa, or even lower in the world rankings. Well placed, short on the half-long side. I guess a half-long serve on the short side, rather, for a second bounce on the table. Koki Niwa's best shots is his step around forehand. As a left-handed player, that's often a very threatening shot. It's just gonna be tricky for him because he's gonna leave open the whole table. Fang Zhendong is used to the fast pace. Beautiful placement to the short side, spinny but low driven. He's got Fang Zhendong testing the traction on the bottom of his shoes for this point. See how well balanced Koki Niwa is to step around, take the shot, and comfortably get back for a forehand to the middle of the table. Oh, to the edge of the table, but still well placed. Fang Zhendong with a very risky and aggressive receive. But Chiquita comes in, so much wrist. This is a signature receive for Fang Zhendong. Topspin. As far as low center of gravity, Koki Niwa still is going to have to get over that ball when it's a little more shallow on the table, just inside the baseline. Had the opportunity, the touch on the receive. Keeps it short to the forehand. The split kill here, not an easy ball. Koki Niwa is going to have to make that more than half of the time. He quickly <laughs> makes the adjustment. I'd say that ball was even tougher than the point before, but he saves a game point. does have the length of the table there. And the heavy Thompson with a little flat shot back from Koki Niwa does not land. Fang Zhendong, Xiao Pang takes game one, 11 points to seven, and we'll be back for game two after this short break.
game two, Fan Zandong starting with the serve. And a little bit off balance from behind the table. Koki Niwa changing the placement and the depth of the shots. Again, playing the ball soft can be useful when you notice your opponent is back off the table. Very smart play, just like Li Ping was doing. Koki Niwa changing up the pace. He'll have one fast shot there, then softens it up. Once again, a little bit softer, leaves Fan Zhendong behind the ball, a little off balance. Tough to catch Fan Zhendong out of position. He's so fast, so strong in the legs. Well played, soft touch again, Koki Niwa. This is the importance of a short game, being able to steal the attack, make an uncomfortable shot for the server. Almost brings it back. A few of these shots I can't believe Koki Niwa is able to keep on the table. Just a little bit short, Fang zhendong has got the power. We've seen him smash against the best lobs in the world against Xu Xin. That one comes down way high, but just close to the net. It's a little deeper on the table, that point continues. Oh, and he takes the point on the defense. Understandable frustration and a wince, a grimace. Fang Zhendong does not lose many points this way. See him trying to come over the ball, bend it. Can't be happy about that decision though. When he's got Koki Niwa off the table that far, doesn't have to be too concerned about much of an angle. At worst, a counter attack and a step around. <laughs> that being said, with Koki Niwa off the table, despite winning that point, it's still not gonna be the most winning strategy for him to back off the table. Sometimes it gives us a false sense of reality when we win a point after many shots on the defense. Koki Niwa's quick on the step around. In the middle, that might be a good use of his forehand. But either way, he's in the lead here. Will not come down on the table at the top edge. Saw some pretty interesting shots yesterday. Leaving Kasumi Ishikawa on the table against Sahio Wong. That's the farthest that we've seen Koki Niwa come across the table to make a banana flip receive, the Chikita, as they say in Japan. Five. Now, one thing about timing, I know Koki Niwa has used his timing and change of pace very effectively so far. Fang Zhendong's topspin shots, quite heavy topspin. Anyone who's blocked his shots can tell you that the, that it's a very different feeling, the power coming into the racket, and also the jump on the ball. Now this is also true of the Chinese rubbers in general. You'll often see on the big four from China, their forehand, some players forehand and backhand, a Chinese rubber that changes the throw angle a little bit. It's a heavier rubber, grips the ball a little bit more. You have to hit it with a more open face though. Different trajectory and throw angle. Non-stop aggression, Fan Zhendong cannons off. Cannons off on both sides, excuse me. There's the touch, hey, soft hey. flip. Niwa keeping it close. Beautiful placement on the half long touch shot for the receive. If it's clearly short, Fan Zhendong knows what to do, but any hesitation is gonna help out the opponent. Hey, side of the ball, a little bit of topspin on the serve. Shovel technique there and the down the line backhand just missing a high pressure shot with a little margin for error. And now three game points for Fan Zhendong, the signature serve, the reverse pendulum from up high near the head.
beautiful shot, stepping in quickly. Ball sits up a little bit. Fan Zhengong takes advantage with the backhand for the winner. 11 points to seven, and we'll be back game three. Kofi Niwa versus Fan Zhengong right after this. start of game three. Koki Niwa to take the first point. Well placed. Handcuffing Koki Niwa at the back corner of the table. Spin from Fan Zhengong. Two serves in a row, just varying up his contact on the pendulum serve. One four. Koki Niwa started game two quite strong. He's leading 5 3. But for me, he's just playing a bit too passive right now. Easier said than done, of course. Fan Zhengong is very quick from over the table short game in from a step off to play so aggressively. Anything Koki Niwa can do to put some pressure on Fan Zhendong early in the point, even better positioning. A valiant effort by Koki Niwa, but still not enough. Pops up to receive a little bit. You can see the flat hit of the fourth ball. Outstanding touch from both sides. The confidence of Fan Zhendong to watch that ball drop after a chop block from Koki Niwa. Gotta love that confidence. Very unusual point at this level. Again, we're talking about a bull, a cannon on both sides. Fan Zhendong watching gently as the ball comes off the table, the point before. Just floating it back up deep on the table and low. Chop block again, and the side spin carries it off wide. You can see the frustration, but Fan Zhendong, every once in a while, he'll lose a point this way. Between the defensive lobbing point, Koki Niwa in the last game, the touch shot here. Placed wide out to the forehand with the inside out shot. And then blocked back coast to coast, corner to corner. If he can get Fan Zhendong away from the table, use his topspin. When he blocks it back, keeps the topspin on. It's going to be a bit more effective to run Fan Zhendong around. Quality blocks, and after softening one up, gets a slower, spinny ball from Fan Zhendong to counter. But not much softer in that replay. Still so much kick to it. Nice. The confidence to take these shots from Fan Zhendong. One of few players that from off the table can consistently win a point with his backhand. And a 
backhand. It was the first move made by Fan Zhendong to open it up wide. To break the pattern. Oh, short side of the table. Calibrates perfectly to read the topspin and counter it. Three game points again for Fan Zhendong. Chop block goes long, and for the third game in a row, 11 points to seven, a consistently dominant performance by Fan Zhendong. We'll see if Koki Niwa can break the pattern, break the seven point rule. Game four coming up right after this. So that is the third game. Game four, Fan Zhendong with a quick point on the serve. Heavy underspin on this pendulum. But one thing you'll notice, the professionals will do two serves in a row that look quite the same. From the spectator's point of view, but the contact is subtly different. Part of the reason they keep the serve so close to the body. Oh, the short side, no problem for Fan Zhendong. Cruise control right now. Quick block off the bounce, the backhand side. And a timeout called with the three point differential. Koki Niwa in the corner with Coach Chu, Jin Xin. Now, if you've been paying, well, I guess if you've been here watching the tournament since day one, Coach Chu is a master of service, played in China, was coached in Germany, Japan, has two kids playing in Germany currently personal coach for Jun Mizutani, so the results speak for themselves. Definitely knows the game well. It's always interesting to see some players make better coaches than players. Some of the best coaches in the world, the most respected coaches, were never really top 10 players. They just understand the game well. So much touch once again. Fan Zhendong giving Koki Niwa's spin right back against the chop block. It's one smart way to play a heavy side spin shot. Five. I think we've seen more attempted chop blocks from Koki Niwa than any player on the world tour. Five. Not so common to see a service error from Fan Zhendong, but it's the first point for Koki Niwa in game four. The score continues to go this way. Could be some exhibition points out here. Look at this. Arm dragging behind cross court until the moment he contacted that ball, it looked like he was going down the short side of the table. Flips, sets it up so quick off the bounce. Forcing a chop block out of Fan Zhendong. We've seen some comebacks after being down by quite a bit from Koki Niwa. Oh, quick shot, fearless. That was a Koki Niwa burp right in near the microphone at the net. Sometimes drinking a little bit of water between the games and jumping around cause the air to get trapped. Very patient eye. Fan Zhendong watches that ball come off the table to ensure that he can get a clean first swing with the forehand. It takes great patience to watch the ball that long and control to keep it that low to the net. High speed action with the counter attack. Koki Niwa started each game slow, but managed to work his way back into 4 7. Strong flip from out wide on the forehand side. Koki Niwa again. He's much shorter than most players on the world tour, but still so balanced that he's able to get around, recover, and be in position for the next shot. Okay. 
confident first ball and the second one with the pressure on as Fan Zendong starts to cover the middle of the table. He was not able to make the shot. Don't think we'll be seeing any exhibition points in this match. Now, Fan Zendong can't get too confident here. Yes, he's got the lead. He's been cruising throughout with three games, 11-7 in a row, but if he loses one and starts to sweat or question himself, could be a problem and a well-placed serve. The long side of half long. Haven't seen Fan Zhendong jammed up where he can't loop the ball when it comes off the table. It's a pretty rare occasion. For example, the Cody Lee are right there, ready to bring it back with the heat down the line. Look at this was down 5-0, ties it up at 8-8. Eight, eight. No time for relaxing for Xiao Pang. Better chop block, keeps it low to the table, low to the net. Really zeroing in with all the practice and the chop block throughout this match. Sort of a half long chop block, the ball biting the table, staying near the back edge. That was a good opportunity. It's a very uncomfortable shot to take a high backhand. Anytime someone lobs the ball or hits it high, you, you turn around and get the forehand into play. Fan Zendong still manages to generate enough power. Look how much wrist he gets on this shot. It's so whip-like. Inch or two off the side of the table and it's tied at 9-all. Aggressive, confident play. Koki Niwa earns game point. Plot twist, everybody. From the start of this, it looked like it was over. Not if Koki Niwa has anything to say about it here with his second serve. And he does, 11 to nine. The match starts to heat up a little bit. First game for Niwa, a little bit of stress to the way of Fan Zendong, and we'll see what happens. Game five coming up right after this. For game Double. number five, can Koki Niwa pull off the unlikely and keep this match going? We'll Next. see. Left service to start it off. Definitely a bit more spring in his step. Koki Niwa came out last game, the second half of it, looking much faster, much more assertive and aggressive. This play, if you're no. passive a bit too long, Fan Zhendong will not let you sit there. He'll take advantage, push you off the table, move you around. I do like to see the aggressive play from Koki Niwa. It puts more pressure on Fan Zhendong. Touch here and there, but too many soft shots in a row. It's going to be tough. Lina. Even that last backhand from Fan Zhendong, that's an uncomfortable position for most players. Deep to the corner, but he still generates some power. A little bit Not late on the timing. We've seen Koki Niwa take some balls late. Loop him back up, but the counter this really has to stay on top of it, trying for that inside out left handed specialty. So quick. The earlier that Fan Zhendong takes it, not only does Koki Niwa have less time to react, but Fan Zhendong has more angles to choose from. Still, the net appears higher when he takes it lower. So it's more likely that that will happen. Lower margin for air. Timing, timing, timing. The one thing that sets the Chinese players apart, how quick they get to the receive right off the bounce, how early they take it in their counter loops and even their blocking game. There's a 
and in between Run. shots, a little indecision from Koki Niwa. There it is. Chop block sits up and Fonzendong slowly spins it back. Not an easy ball, still low to the net. Look at that ball bend inside out forehand. Koki Niwa. He's going to have an outstanding highlights video at the end of his career, which is probably a long ways away. Saving. Spinning his back to the table. Blocking throughout the Japan National Championships. You can see some very creative play from Koki Niwa and on the world tour as well. Kokini was a very interesting player to watch, quite unpredictable, not just from shot to shot, but in the results too. The World Championships losing to world number 324, and then coming out and giving a real battle, one of the top two seeds at the Olympics. Save. Some players are a bit more steady. Marcos Freitas, for example, you have a pretty good idea of what you're gonna get. The inconsistent Denied. play of Koki Niwa, despite some tough losses, still in the world top 20. He's been right behind Jun Mizutani, the second player for the Japanese team for some time. Denied. Manages to push Fang Zhendong deep off the table there on the forehand side. Chiquita with some heavy side spin earns six match points for Fang Zhendong to move on to the next round. There it is, the quick backhand off the bounce. Shotgun matches over Fang Zhendong. Four games to one over Koki Niwa. So we'll be excited to watch Fang Zhendong continue on in this tournament between Xu Xin and Mao Wuxing here as well. Should be an exciting opportunity for the young player to take the title if he can. After losing by two points last year in Lisbon, Enjoy a few highlights and stick around. We've got an exciting match between Dmitry Ovtarov and Tong Pung coming up right after this. You're watching the 2016 World Tour Grand Finals by Seamaster here in Qatar. <laughs>